I'm Ashley. If you're watching this video, it's a safe bet that you're preparing for a job interview and feel like you need a little help. Your interview is also likely to be virtual, i.e. a remote video call. To get hired in today's job market, it is essential to master the art of the virtual interview. And in this video, you'll get to learn by example. I'll share how I prepare, offer a few little tips and tricks, and you'll get to see an actual interview from start to finish. Don't worry, we're going to help you get really good at these. This is Job Science. So today, I'll be interviewing for the role of a marketing copywriter at a trendy athleisure company. Although virtual interviews do come with some new challenges, the fundamentals of what make for a successful interview remain the same. So we'll be focusing on the old and the new. And for those of you who might be doing pre-recorded interviews, keep in mind that a lot of what we cover here today can be applied to that format as well. Welcome to my bedroom. Some people prefer to do their work from home in either the kitchen or the family room, that is no good if you've got roommates or family members flying in and out, especially for making that first impression. I recommend that you use a secluded room with a door you can shut, like your bedroom. That way you can control the environment. Video calls are a window into who we are, so I like to make sure that my background is clean and tidy. This is also a simple and subtle opportunity for me to reveal a little bit about myself. I also don't want to sit too close or too far away from the camera. And it's usually most flattering if you can be lit from the front, either natural window light or a lamp placed right at or slightly above your face. And watch out for brightly lit windows behind you. They can create that dark silhouette effect. The goal here is to achieve even lighting on both me and the entire room. Please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more weekly tips from Indeed. And we would love to know what makes you feel confident in an interview. Please jump into the comments section below. Now, I like to double check my computer and video software settings and be sure and test out that Wi-Fi strength. We don't want your call to freeze during the interview. So now that I'm all set up, it's time for me to think about what I want to say. Before any interview, I always like to do a little research. I want to make sure I know the basics about the business, any recent news headlines, and most importantly, the job description. The goal is to sound natural and not too rehearsed. So I also like to put together a quick cheat sheet with some bulleted notes tailored to the role rather than memorizing answers. You'll want to consider strengths, weaknesses, work style, and career goals. It also helps if you can prepare some anecdotes from your current or a recent job, maybe a problem you solved or a special achievement. I'm also going to write down three to five questions of my own. Asking questions conveys enthusiasm and also signals that I've done my homework and want to learn more. And even though I'll be working from home, I think it's important to dress professionally. Wardrobe style is different for everyone, so you should think about what that means for you and for the role. I aim for one step up from how I would normally dress for work, since this is an interview. The sweats and the PJs will be there after it's over. <laughs> it's time. Now, if you're still not feeling ready, check out our video on how to answer tricky interview questions by clicking this link right here. Okay, let's do this. Don't forget to silence your cell phone and desktop notifications before logging in. Hey, Ashley, there you are. Thanks for sitting down with me today. Hi, Joe, so nice to finally meet you. So how's your day going so far? Pretty good, thanks for asking, except that my dog caused quite a scene on our walk this morning. Oh no, I know how that goes. I have a Frenchie and she can be a handful. <laughs> Let's pause for a second. So he likes dogs, awesome. Engaging in small talk can help you find some common ground. Pets, the weather, it can be just about anything as long as you keep it brief and professional. I also made it a point to repeat his name. People subconsciously appreciate that and saying it out loud will actually help you remember his name. Also, I think the small talk is going well, but 
I think my body language is revealing how nervous I am. So I'm going to take a moment to stop fidgeting with my hair and biting my nails. If you're like me and have nervous tics, it's okay to glance at yourself in the monitor while you're talking on screen to make little adjustments during your interview. Can you tell me a little bit more about yourself and why do you think you'd be a good addition to the team? Well, I have a background in writing web and email copy for fitness products, and I'm good at generating clever calls to action that deliver results. For example, my copy significantly increased our click-through rates, and sales rose over 20% last quarter alone. I'm looking to join a team that will allow me to contribute and grow even more. And because you're in the athleisure space, I think that my skills and experience would be an asset. That's great to hear, Ashley. Our email copy could use a facelift. That said, there are a lot of cooks in the kitchen that make it tough for us to radically shift our brand voice. I wonder if you could share an example of a challenge or problem you faced and how were you able to solve it? Whoa, that took a turn. Now I mentioned earlier that it's good to have an anecdote handy and then I completely forgot to prepare one in my notes, but that's okay. I'm just going to take a breath and do my best to be transparent while showing some self-awareness. Well, I don't have an example off the top of my head, but I'm always trying to think outside the box when my team and I get stuck. Actually, that just reminded me, um, there was this one wearable product that was actually really hard to get people interested in and everybody knew it. When my boss put me on it at first, I was pretty intimidated, but then I realized I'm not the target demographic, my parents are. So I asked them what they liked about the product and that inspired some new talking points. That copy is actually one of my favorite writing samples. And yes, as a result of the new copy, the product started selling. Goes to show the power of good copy. I'd love to take a look at that sample. Can you email it to me later? Absolutely. So I took a moment and decided to talk about one of my strengths, outside the box thinking. Thanks mainly to my cheat sheet. And as you saw, it jogged my memory inadvertently about a specific win from my current job and now the hiring manager wants to see it. So it sounds like you're doing really well over there. Why do you want to leave? To be honest, I'm part of a pretty large soulless corporation and I'm starting to feel like a cog in the wheel. My boss also isn't the sharpest tool in the shed, if you know what I mean. <laughs> hmm. Whoa, time out. Okay, that didn't feel right. Even though I'm not happy with my current situation or my boss, I don't want to gossip. That's not me, and it's not what I'll be like if I get this job, so let me try that again. So it sounds like you're doing really well over there. Why do you want to leave? Well, I've learned a lot, but I feel like it's time for me to branch out and challenge myself in new ways. I also want to work with the smaller team than I'm part of now. That makes total sense. Well, we are a smaller company and our CEO has always made it a point to foster more tightly knit departments, including the creative team. We're also having a great year so far, so there's ample room for someone in this role to grow right along with us. This has been a great conversation. What questions do you have for me? Notice how he didn't ask me if I had any questions? That's right, it's implied that you should at least have a couple. This is where my cheat sheet comes in really handy. We also have an entire video dedicated to questions to ask your interviewer. It sure sounds like a great opportunity. What are your employees like best about working here? Well, we make it a great point to take good care of our people and to listen and respond to their needs. It's a positive collaborative working environment for everyone from the CEO to the interns. Everyone's input is valued. That sounds ideal. <laughs> I'd love to get a sense of what the company's goals are over the next year beyond just growth. Are there any big initiatives I should be aware of and how this role will contribute to that success? Great question, Ashley. The short answer is that we're launching an entirely new line of more affordable price activewear, targeting the 18 to 24 age demographic. There are a lot of big plans for the rollout, but I'm afraid we'll have to save those details for a future conversation with you. Fair enough, and I like the sound of that. Do you have any more questions for me? No, I think that covers it. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me today, Joe. It was my pleasure, Ashley. Take care. Okay, it's over, I did it. And it honestly wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. If you start to feel stressed or nervous, just try to remember that interviewing is a two-way street. You're not just there to present yourself. You're also learning about the role and whether or not working for this company feels right for you. 
Whatever happens next, we hope to see you one step closer to landing that dream job. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you hit the like button down below, subscribe to our channel over here, and of course hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on our weekly career tips. For more job science, I recommend checking out the series playlist here. And for more help with virtual interviews, you can watch this video. See you next time.